hi good day all of you welcome to our session welcome to our channel intelligible tutorials in this uh, particular session I would like to give the clear introduction of uh, how to draw the class diagrams in the star UML okay in the previous sessions we have completed the use case diagram sequence diagram collaboration or communication diagram successfully and now in this video I would like to give the clear introduction of the class diagrams how to draw the class diagrams okay so here I would like to give the uh, two in very good examples based on the class diagrams how the relationships among the classes can be represented let us take one example that is nothing but uh, the uh, cl uh, classes uh, can be represented how the interfaces can be represented by default in the star UML the class diagram will be open here but uh, whenever you want to open separately the class diagram directly you can go the model and select the class diagram because the first diagram itself here is the class diagram so whenever you select the class diagram the respective toolbar will be open at the lower most right side of the class diagram so what are the components relevant to the class diagram what are the relevant things that are required to draw the class diagram all these things are available at the left side lower most uh, toolbar okay so here I would like to give one good example based on the class diagram okay see uh, the example that I would like to give here is nothing but for example we have one interface okay the name of the interface is called as shape so in the shape I am having the various kinds of the attributes like area and the next one is uh, radius and the next one is uh, we can add the attributes like this select the interface from here whenever you want to add the attributes here simply the plus mark will be there you can press the plus mark the attributes will be added here the next one is the height okay and the next one is nothing but uh, um, base and side like that these are the various kinds of the variables and these variables if you want to change them as private you can make them as the private so uh, side became private and you select that particular variable on that double click on that then you can make them as public you can make them as private then base also become private like that some of the variables you can make them as the public some of the variables you can make them as private so the interface can be represented as the circle like this okay so this is the interface and and whenever you want to add the um, methods to the interface you can press this particular button you can select simply on the interface double click on that this star button you can plus add operation this is nothing but add attribute you can add attribute here you can add operation like here and you can more change the mode of the visibility of each and everything here and these are represented sub interfaces and super interfaces and uh, add realizing classes and this is used to add any node I would like to add the node here I want to add is shape is an interface okay so like that and one more operation I would like to add here double click on the shape okay so here operations will be displayed you want to delete this operation one you want to modify this double click on that add and again plus press and you double click on this add display 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 like that the operations can be added if at all you want to remove this simply press this and you can click like this add display I want to add one more that is nothing but calculate okay so like that these are the set of the attributes and set of the methods that can be added to the interface now what are the various classes which implements the interface are nothing but circle triangle rectangle let us take two kinds of the classes those are nothing but uh, uh, first one is named as the circle okay so circle what are the attributes you are having uh, radius float radius f l o a t float r a d i u s float radius and i would like to add the methods to the circle that is nothing but add and next one is calculate and the next one is simply display d i s p l a by display 
so the now circle class is created i would i would like to add one more class here simply plus class here and double click on that palette the class will be shown the next one is nothing but rectangle c t a n g l e rectangle i would like to add the method i would like to add the variables or attributes simply you press here here attributes will be added so ha base height and uh, side these are the variables that we can add so float height and uh, side float f l o a t float side float side these two are the uh, various attributes that i would like to add and i would like to add the um, operations or methods also here the first one is the add and the second one is calculate and the third one is nothing but display like that you are adding the methods uh, and operate attributes to the class okay so these two are the classes i have added and recording according to the particular shape interface now i want to add the relationships between the interface and class what kind of the relationship that can exist between the class and the interface is nothing but interface realization here the interface realization is the relationship is there normally the interface realization is the realization itself is the combination of the dependency and as well as the generalization so the classes which not only inherited by the interface and as well as depends on the interface they can implement that particular interface so only dependent on the interface so i am adding the interface realization here from circle to the shape here also from circle to the shape i am adding interface realization okay now uh, see how beautifully added the class diagram with the shape and as well as the circle in this way you can add the class diagram to the um, uh, in the star uml whatever you want you can add multiple number of the classes also you can add multiple number of the interfaces also wherever you want so for easy identification purpose you can use this note also so interface you can select like this the circle interface class you can select like this simply you can double click on that the click on this work area that will be added and attributes can be added if you double click on that here the attributes will be added here the operations will be added here the add reception these things will be added now coming to the class how it look like see here the variables can be represented as the visibility this is the note see if at all you want to add any kind of the note the note will be added here like this how i have added add operation add attribute these two are the these two are only the necessary things we have i have added and add aggregated class add composited class these are the other kind of the relations wherever you want if necessary okay so like that the classes can be added the relationships can be established in the class diagram now i would like to show one more class diagram that is nothing but the flower okay so i am adding in this case previous class i have added the interface now i would like to add the class to class generalization so class here i am typing it as flower okay so what are the various attributes of the flower is nothing but color of the flower and uh, size of the flower and species which species it belongs to sp c i e s species of the flower and i would like to add the operations okay so what are the operations display only the operation okay so display and another one is the add is the operation and i would like to add two different kinds of the classes for this flower class and one of the class name is uh, rose and another name of the class is jasmine first one is nothing but rose okay in that rose i am adding the attributes as color and the next one is size and coming to the attributes i am adding so operations i am adding add and display okay in coming to the second class i am adding the next one is uh, jasmine jasmine and the color is not the first attribute is nothing but color here and the next attribute is also the size here and coming to the um, operations 
we are adding add here and display here like that the attributes will be added to the class okay so here now I want to add the relationships among the classes what kind of the relationships that can exist from one class to another class normally in the form of the inheritance that is generalization so I am adding the generalization relationship here because the uh, rose is inherited from the flower class in the same manner jasmine to flower okay so here the generalization relationship uh, the triangle mark always post to the base class flower is the base class and rose jasmine are the two kinds of the derived classes so like that uh, the relationship can be represented in the form of the flower rose and as well as the jasmine whereas in this case I have used the interface uh, between uh, two classes one they can inherit the interface in the form of interface realization but whereas from class to class inheritance I have used here is nothing but the generalization okay so one thing you have to remember if you good at theory then you can easily draw the diagrams like that the various kinds of the use case diagram sorry various kinds of the classes and the class diagrams can be drawn successfully in the star UML so these two are the very good examples of the class diagrams I have shown okay so in the uh, coming video I would like to give the introduction of the activity diagram and as well as the state chart diagram uh, and component and finally the deployment diagrams also I will show and um, later we still see the various kinds of the case studies also in star UML we complete all the diagrams for more videos please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all